Hello boys and girls, welcome to Jabalani's Playhouse. I'm Jabu and I'm Lani and today we're looking at Matchbox toy cars, aren't we Jabu? We sure are, this is going to be a lot of fun. We've got a yeah, 10 pack here of Matchbox on a mission, some really fun looking vehicles, some rugged ones and uh, all sorts of variety here. So let's take a look at them, hey? Yes please Jabu, we love our cars and soon we're going to have a hundred and then we'll show the boys and girls all hundred of our first hundred Matchbox and die cost Hot Wheels toy cars, right? Exactly. Exactly. Let's take a look at these. But first, Lani, we've had boys and girls wonder about the bracelets that the daddy is wearing. And uh, so this bracelet is, uh, as you can see, it's nice sort of purpley color. And it's um, amethyst. We can show you the little label that came with it. So this is amethyst and it represents peace, stability, peace, calm, and inner strength, prosperity, and joy. So that's what this bracelet is for. And then this one, uh, perhaps many boys and girls will know this bracelet. This one's been quite popular lately. I don't know if you can see, there's a little emblem on it there. And at the bottom too, a little emblem. And so this is a little bracelet. And uh, the white one, the white little bead here, has a little bit of water from the Himalaya Mountains, from Mount Everest. And the black bead here, has a little bit of sand from the Dead Sea sand, from the Dead Sea in it. And so that's to represent that when you're, uh, when you're down in the dumps a little bit, when life has been a little challenging, you must remain hopeful because the Dead Sea is the uh, lowest place on Earth. So it's to remind you to be hopeful. And then when you're at the top of the world and things are going really well, and that's what Mount Everest water in here represents, then it's time to... Uh, remain humble, right? We can show you here. This is it. They think it's called Milo K or Milo Kai, and it's find your balance. So here you can see water from Mount Everest. Sometimes you're on top of the world. Stay humble. And then here, mud from the Dead Sea. Sometimes you've hit a low. Stay hopeful. So that's what that is. And. Uh, it's just a good way to represent and as a reminder of staying humble and hopeful depending on how life is going for you at the moment. So those are the bracelets that Daddy got over Christmas from his mummies and daddies and a lot of fun. So there we go. But let's take a look at our Matchbox cars now, shall we? Yes, please. Wow, there's lots of fun ones here. These are like big, big trucks and big vehicles and big movers. And look at that one, a big... A uh, bucket truck, it looks like, and a moving van, and Hollywood tours. Wow, that's fun. And uh, look at this. This is Hill Co-op. I'm not sure what that one is. And a little uh, off-roader, like a Jeep. Wow, faster car and a little army vehicle. And look at this speed one here, too, Lani. You like those ones, don't you? I sure do, Jabu. They're a lot of fun. Yeah. So a lot of these are General Motors. I guess we've got Toyota 4Runner in here as well. So that's neat. Okay, Matchbox on a mission, hey? That's right, Jabu. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, what does it say here? This is all sold separately. You can get these different uh, scenes to, to, uh, to create that you can put your cars in and play with them on. Uh, we haven't had any of those, but that's a lot of fun. We just like to play with our cars normally, don't we? We sure do, Jabu. It's a lot of fun that way. We just drive them around the carpet and in the kitchen and stuff like that. Exactly. A lot of fun. Okay, let's open this up and see how it goes. Start from here. A little tough. Remember from last time, well, it's very sticky. Aha, there we go. Okay. Can pull them out here. There we go. Let's put it like that and put those like so. We kind of did last time. Okay, Lani, where shall we start? Let's start with the fast one in the bottom here because I love the fast cars. I know you do love the race cars, the modern race cars. Let's take a look at this one. Wow, that's pretty cool, hey? This is a fast race car. Not sure what kind of vehicle it is, or maybe it's just sort of a a pretend car, not based on a real one. You can see the inside there, the details, terrific, hey? Look at that. It's amazing, Jabu, the seats and everything, hey? I know. Wow. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is based on a real car or not. 
It's called whiplash. Yeah, I bet it would give you a whiplash go so fast in this car, hey? That's right, yeah, but it would give you a whiplash. Okay, there's his name. Whiplash. Matchbox. And there's a plastic chassis at the bottom here. Great detail. Wheels move fast. That's cool. It's very neat, Jabu. Yeah, it is, eh? Like that one, don't you, Lani? I love it. I love the fast cars, Jabu. Okay, what else do we have here? Let's take a look at this one. We'll just move up the rows, hey? Well, Jabu, I think we might have had one like this before. I think you're right. But uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. We forget which ones we have, and so we get new ones. Look at the uh, shovels on top there. This would be like a great little little uh, truck to go on an archaeology dig with, hey, dig up dino bones. Hee <laughs> Jabu, that's right. It would be lovely to do that, hey? I know. It's an army vehicle, but who's to say you can use it for a archaeological dig? See some of the detail inside there. A nice big back there. You can put all the big bones you dig up. In the back of the truck there. It'd be fun, hey? It would be terrific, job. I love it. Yeah. Wow. Okay, what does it say this is? Can we read it? It says it's a Swamp Raider. Aha, that does ring a bell. Swamp Raider up there. It does ring a bell, so maybe we do have one of these before, but that's okay. Now we have a a little matchbox car we can give to our friends or donate to um, those in need, right? That's right, Jabu. It's a lot of fun, though. Yeah. Okay. There's another one. Let's see if we can... Okay. Wow, look at this one. This is a really cool car. Wow. This has got a big bucket on the back. A big, uh, I guess, bucket. What's this? Arland Heels Co-op. So I wonder what this is. Obviously, you store some sort of stuff in there, grain or something. And um, at the back here, you let it out. I don't know if it's for trans transporting grains or crops or something. It's tough to tell, but it sure is neat. I've seen tracks like this before. And uh, what does it say here? Can we read it? It's a little difficult to read. Sewing machine. Made in Thailand. Sewing machine, that's interesting. Doesn't look like a sewing machine, but I don't know how that works. What would it sew? I wonder, Lani. I don't know, Jabu. What kind of a truck would this be? Well, we'll try to figure out and we'll put it in the description, hey? But maybe some of the boys and girls who really know their vehicles will know what kind of truck this is. It's a neat one, whatever it is, hey? It sure is, Jabu. A sewing machine. It's for, it's for carrying something, that's for sure. Yeah. It's got all these pipes and uh, wires and things like that. So, yeah, very, very neat. Cool. Aha. Uh -huh. You know what this is? This is a moving van because this is secure move and lock matchbox. You can move and lock different things in this little uh, moving van. Similar to uh, little moving vans that you that you rent when you move with your mommies and daddies to a different house or cross country or whatever, right? It looks like a little U-Haul sort of thing, a small U-Haul little truck. It's probably based on a GM, I think, GM chassis, I imagine. That's right, Jabu. You can see inside there a little bit some of the detail on the seats. It's terrific, hey? And then we've got a little kitty in the behind talking to us. <laughs> That's right, Jabu. It's our little kitty. Yeah, this is a moving truck. The kitty is making uh, meowing noises. Boys and girls can hear, perhaps. I don't know. It's one of our little kitties. We have two kitties at home, don't we? We sure do, Jabu, and they're lots of fun. They're our friends, right? Because kitties and puppies and dogs can get along well, right? They sure can. Cool. This is a neat one, too. Okay. And this is also looks like metal, but I think... I think it's a plastic chassis again, and it's a moving truck. Cool. Move and lock. Secure move and lock. Okay, we'll start from the top. Ooh, Hollywood tours. Who wouldn't like to go on Hollywood tours, hey, Lani? I would love to. Get on the fun bus. Michael's Hollywood tours. Superstar. I know. We've been on Hollywood tours, haven't we? We sure did, when we were down in, 
um, in in uh, Los Angeles, and we visited um, uh, Malibu, and what else? Yeah, we visited the beaches there, and we went to Disneyland. It's a GMC truck. It was a lot of fun, wasn't it, hey? You can see the detail inside. And we went on a little uh, tour bus similar to this. You can see the seats inside. And the tour operator told us where all the different stars were living, and they had some nice houses, big houses, mansions. It was a lot of fun, wasn't it? It sure was, Jabu. And we went also to the Santa, Santa Monica Pier. That was a lot of fun, right? I know, and the beach was warm, and the sun was there, and the sand, and the ocean, and we splashed around in there a little bit, didn't we? We sure did, Jabu. We loved it. Yeah. Okay, what does this say? Uh, school bus. So it's a school bus, and uh, boys and girls are probably most familiar with this sort of thing, um, because it's usually painted yellow with black stripes on it, and it's a small school bus, takes boys and girls to, to uh, school, but sometimes they're used for other purposes, like on Hollywood tours here, as you can see. Fun, hey? Super fun, Jabo! Okay, there we go. Move these up here so we can get space for all of them. Aha, little ATV vehicle, a little 4x4, four four. this would be a four-wheel drive. Wow, this would be fun on an archaeological dig too, hey? You can put small little dino bones in your little cases at the back there on each side of the seat. We've been on one of these before too, haven't we? We sure have, Jabu, and they're a lot of fun. And we've been on the ones that they don't make anymore. They had three wheels, right? I know, but see, it says 4x4. Four but these ones were, um, those ones were not very stable, were they? No, Jabu, I think there were lots of accidents because they could tip over easily and so it's not so, it was not very, uh, not very good. There were too many accidents, I think. Yeah, so I think they stopped making those and now they make them four by four with four wheels, which is better, right, for boys and girls. It's safer and more stable. It's like a car. It doesn't say what it is. It's like an ATV. Boys and girls will know what ATV stands for, right? Yes, I know, I know, I know. Well, why don't you share with the boys and girls what it means? ATV stands for All-Terrain Vehicle. Exactly. Good job, Lani. You're learning lots. I know, I like to learn stuff. And here's a car I really like, another little fast car, but this one's a little bit higher up, right? It stands higher up. I know. It's terrific. You can see the seats in the back, so the sloping backwards. Keep you secure, it's a steering wheel. Wow, yeah, that's a fast car. This looks like a spare wheel back here, hey? It does, Jabu. Wow, look at that. What does it say there? Turn. This is a turn tamer. <laughs> well, it probably could take turns very fast, very easily then, hey? It would sound like it, doesn't it, hey? Turn tamer. Wow, that's a cool name for a car. I'm driving my turn tamer. Look how fast we can go. Turn tamer. Hehe, <laughs> it's great, Jabu. I know. Neat oh, hey? Turn tamer car. Looks a bit high to be able to take turns too fast, because the higher they are, the higher the center of gravity. When the center of gravity is higher off the ground, it's easier to tip over. That's why SUVs can't take turns as fast as uh, sports cars like Porsches and stuff, which are low to the ground, have a lower center of gravity, so it's harder to tip over. I see, Jabu. Yeah, it says turn tamer. That's fun, hey? It's a lot of fun. Wow. Love it. All sorts of little cars. It's fun to get these little matchbox 10 packs because you never know what you get. Well, you can kind of look at them, but you get a nice assortment, I suppose, hey? That's right, Jabu. And there's another 4x4. Four four. It's got some fun yellow, orange, and reddish colors on the back. I know, and there's some silver seats inside. See the great detail there? It's fantastic, hey? Wow, this is a great looking car. Yeah, this is a good little 4x4. Of course, go on archaeological digs, or if you're a geologist and you're going to check out different parts of the world to see if there's oil or gas or minerals you can find, this would be a good one to take. It's got a big back area, big trunk, where you can put all your tools and stuff, I guess, hey? That's right, Jabu. Yeah, sure is neat, hey? Let's see what this is. Probably another GMC, I think, of some sort. And there's the gas cap on that side. You can see it's not on this side. Let's see what this says. Uh huh. Oh, this is the Toyota 4Runner you see at the bottom there. 1985 Toyota 4Runner. That's cool. 
Yeah, that's a good one. Those are those are very popular for four by fours for going off roading and stuff. Hey, Jabo. Yeah, I think they are, Lani. Cool. Okay, there we go. Take another one here. It's like a Jeep, I think, of some sort. Wow, look at that cool stuff on the top there. Got little bags and extra jerry can for um, gas and what is that? That looks like a rucksack and there's a little case of some sort and looks like a looks like a chainsaw there too, hey? It does, Jabu. And look at the big lights on the front. Up at the top, the roof lights. I know. And a big uh, a big uh, bumper in the front. Move stuff around. This is a June dog. <laughs> Look at that bulldog, it's a grumpy face. And it's got a little spade on the side and a fire extinguisher. That's always useful to have. You can see inside some of the great detail again. What's that on the back there? Oh, you know what that's on the back there? What is that, Jabu? That's a little puppy, I think, Lani. Is it? I think so. Let's take a look on the other side. I'm sure that's a little puppy. The June dog. You can see there some more fire extinguishers. Little uh, bulldog face there. And look, I think that's a little puppy. Hard to tell. I don't think we can get in so as close as we like. Difficult to see from this side. Uh, I don't know if you can see from there, but it looks like a puppy. Let's take a look from the side again. Can you see it looks like a little puppy, I think? I think you're right, Jabu. Mm -hmm. That's cool, hey? That's super cool, Jabu. I love it. Yeah. What does this say? Uh, this is... Turn it the right way around. This is called June Dog, I guess. Pretty cool. This guy's maybe going out and uh, maybe he's doing some forestry work. That's why he's got a chainsaw. Taking his puppy with him. That's fun. Yay, Jabu. I love it. I know. One more, Lani. Let's check out the last one. It's a big one. It sure is. Ooh, look at this, and the bucket tips up. That's neat, hey? Wow, this is a big uh, truck of some sort, or like a loader or something. Don't know quite. Wow, the seat's right up in the front here. You can carry a lot of weight, I bet. It's a Miner MM03. Yeah, so this is a big uh, truck for mining. They probably put lots of big rocks and stones in there. See matchbox, there's the engine. Have a look at the back there. Wow, cool, hey. This is neat. That's where the guy sits. You can see inside a little bit of his detail there. It's pretty cool. Wow, this would be a heavy machine, hey. I bet it would be Jabu. Yeah, minor. That's neat. Goes up cool. That's very cool. And those are big wheels, hey? They're super big wheels, Jabo. Look at them. I bet you they'd be bigger than the man who drives it. Yeah, or well, the woman. Women can drive trucks like this nowadays. But that's right, Jabo. Yeah, but I think it's mostly men still. Yeah, this is called a mountain mover. Wow. Because it obviously moves lots of big rocks and stones and stuff. Cool, hey? Very cool, Jabo. Mountain mover. Yeah, for mining for sure. Wow, that was fun. Lots of great vehicles, hey? Oh, yeah. There you go, boys and girls. Those were our 10 Matchbox vehicles, a whole bunch of different kinds, right? They sure were. There were some fast sports cars that you like. <laughs> That's right. And there were lots of big uh, mechanical vehicles, vehicles for the mountains and for mining and for off-roading and stuff like that, right? Exactly. This was a great assortment. Hope you liked it, boys and girls. Coming back tomorrow, we're going to have a look at our Hot Wheels uh, 10 pack as well. We've got another one, so this is going to be fun to look at too, hey? That's right. And in the meantime, remember to be kind to each other and to do your homework, of course, too because you need to do well at school so you can become whatever you would like right exactly that's a great idea and uh, be kind to each other and play fairly until then we miss you and we'll see you then bye bye for now bye bye